Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final F uh, not Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem Forge, you know, the Holy War. This time starting the second half of the game. Which I refer to the link of Book 2, or the Tale of, Se of Seleth. Detailing the tale of Sigurd's son after he was brutally disintegrated in, in the Battle of Belhalla by Arvis betraying him. Along with the rest of his army, except for a select few. Which will be which will be that will be mentioned in this game and the next. So, without further ado, let's start with chapter six, Heirs of Light. The final battle for control of Granvale sent its most powerful figures to the grave. I also think it's interesting how uh well Arvis basically uh basically using free and dozel. But did honor his promise, uh, but it will be mentioned later about that, but he did actually honor the promise that he made, just not to those two. The rest of his family actually got promoted into being head leaders of the, of, of the, of the, of the Empire, along with Arvis. Just as he planned, this left Arvis in the, as the sole ruling power of the kingdom. A po opposition from Zelis and Leonster was swiftly, was swiftly crushed, and so Arvis unified all of Jugdral. Jugdral. Jugdral or Jugral, under Granvale's rule. Or Jugral. Anyways, with overwhelming support from his subjects. At least he was a good ruler. Arvis thus became the first emperor of the Granvillian Empire. Seventeen years have passed since the Battle of Belhalla. The adoring public who once welcomed the rise of Emperor Arvis now struggle under his oppressive dictator, dictator, dictator rule. Nope, or dictatorial. No, he's not a good ruler. And across Judge Roll, in the other realms, are now dominated by Grand Vale. Their people have been reduced to living as little more than slaves to the Empire's whims. From the former kingdom of Izoch, Grand Vale's harsh rule tortures the Izochian people. King Danon. The appointed king of Izoch is brutal and unforgiving to a brutal and unforgiving tyrant, just like his late father, Duke Langbald. While Danon himself lives an indulgent life at the at the Rivo Palace, the people remain little more than slaves to these em to the empire. His second son, Jonan, or Johan, rules Izoch Castle, while his youngest brother, uh, Jalavir Rusofar. Well, I got way different names from from, uh, from the wiki. And the remote get, uh, Gainshire, or Gainshire region is governed by Danon's most trusted confidant, General Harold. Hello, Zane. Zane number four. Under their rule, Izoch knows no freedom. However, one last hope remains for Izoch. Tiranog, an isolated village in Izoch's far, far north. There, Prince Shannon works to raise a liberation army. Yeah, Shannon. Whose strength grows with each passing day. No longer the little boy he was, he's now a full on warrior. One of these proud young warriors is a young man dubbed the Scion of, or the Scion of Light by the people of Izoch and revered as the rightful prince of the Granville Empire. He is the brave young leader of the Liberation Army. His name is Selim. The Son of Satan. Here we go. Heirs to the Light. Gainish, in Gainishire. Harold, have you fettered the rebels yet? Or are you content to leave them unchecked for the rest of their days? Chatham and, the re and his rebel ilk are growing stronger by the day, and now they hamper us at every turn. And as if that weren't enough, they harbor the spawn of Sigurd the traitor! The very just to the scum utterly defiles the authority of the Azachian throne! How do you expect me to explain this sorry state to his imperial majesty? A thousand apologies, your highness, but everything is already under control. The rebel hideout has been found, and even as we speak, an army is on its way to crush them. Give me a moment. I'm back. Those vile mice have nowhere to run, else to run. By sundown, not a single rebel be let we still be breathing. Hmm, very well. But be warned, Harold. Don't even think of them. I'm underestimating them. Most of the rebels are too young to pose a threat. They still have Oifei and Shaddaa. Those two alone are extremely dangerous. Dismissing them would be a fatal mistake. Uh, yes, sir, I'm aware. 
but I've already had Turnanog, uh, the rebel hideout, surveyed in secret. And it appears that neither are anywhere neither are anywhere in sight. It is safe to assume that them to be currently absent, sir. What? Then why are we still talking about this? Send the orders to move to on a Tyrannog immediately! The people of Izot are treating these rebels like some sort of heroes of freedom! But it's high time they learn the error of their ways. Kill them! Kill all of them! I'll be waiting back at Revo. I expect nothing but good news! Here's some lag to me scrolling through the map just to see what's happening on the map. So... Uh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong area where we start. We start at Tiranog Castle? Oh no, I'm, sorry. I'm in the right area. We have a problem, Lord Seleth. Looks like the Empire has finally caught on to our little whereabouts. A, bridge, a brigade is set up from Gunshire. Or Gainshire. They seem to be heading out, heading our way. Ugh, it's an Ulster. Why are you so surprised? Did you really- th Wow, that, they changed the name, name is also. Do you really think our little hideout will be found out sooner or later? Let them come, I say. It only makes the battle easier for us. I'll be the e it'll be the easiest thing to just walk right over Genshire and pick them off as we go. You've got to be kidding. Prince Shannon is still off trying to find the Yid Shrine, and Oifei and the others aren't back yet. It's just two against an entire army. Surely you can't even think this will end well. I don't care. You can just sit you can sit there and be as scared witless as you want, but I'm not letting a chance like this pass. The prince still treats us like helpless children. But come on, we have more than enough training. We're ready for the real for some real action. But I'm I'm not gonna run away anymore. I'm sick to death of sitting here while those monsters butcher our friends. Or worse, the Empire's thugs are still out there snagging any girl they see. If Prince Shen Shenan hadn't come to me that day, I'd just be another one of them, dead or wishing I was. I won't forgive or forget their pain. No, that's not it, Larcy. You're right. It's horrible and all, but you're wary of engaging the enemy out of cons out of concern for my safety, aren't you, Ulster? Most likely, I presume Shannon would have given you strict orders to keep me safe. After all, if Shannon had not had given such an order, you'd all be out there in the fray. To not be thirst for a good battle isn't just the Ulster I know. Just isn't the Ulster I know. Oh, that's that's right. S sorry, sir. I was hoping we didn't have to involve you. I'm no child anymore, Larcy. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm no child anymore either, Art Larcy. If you two plan to fight, then I plan to fight along your, by your side. There's more at stake today than only the resistance. What if Tyrion and Og? We owe so much to its people. I refuse to abandon them at such a critical hour. But I have no time to waste debating this. Lana, stay behind and help the citizens. We'll engage the foe in the western gully. Wait, my lord. I'm coming too. I cannot permit that, Lana. A cleric such as yourself is ill-suited for this such a battlefield. This is my fight too. You won't convince me any more than, than, than you could defend. Uh, you won't convince me any more than you could convince Larcy. Every day I think the Empire can't get any more cruel. Every day I'm proven wrong. They prey on the weak and vulnerable, as if snuffing out their lives is a sport to them. I can't sit quietly and accept this. I may not be able to fight, but I have my own way of defending any defending everyone. Hmm. My apologies, Lana. You're absolutely right. The battle for Izoch's freedom rests upon all of us. Very well. We shall all go together. How how this will turn out, I cannot say. But we owe it to all to all of Isaac to give this battle no less than our best. Yes, my lord. And er, sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have spoken so brashly. <laughs> you have nothing to apologize for. Now, Ulster, Larcy, Lana, the time has come. Move out. And we have our full squad. And you know what that means? Also, a new map theme. A moment just to look at the uh, the map. Okay, so they're, they're okay. Okay, that's safe. Hmm. All right, so nothing really too important. But there is this talk that's really important for a special event, or with a certain character to enter in there. Anyways, without further ado, let's introduce some new characters. With the with the, with well, some of the inherited items from Lord Sigurd. Apparently, I was wrong about them fixing each other. Oh well, good to know. Selif is be is here is a level one lord or junior lord with three authority stars, uh, a higher authority than well Sigurd did because he's actually leading the resistance. Also starting off the pursuit in the hill skill, better than just the pursuit skill before inheriting the hill skill from his from his mother. But Selif Baldos Chalfi, 
which is his full name. Yep, that's his full name. Uh, give me a moment. I have to, uh, tap out and everything just to get it back. There we are. Celebellos Chalfi, the Heir of Light, is a pretty darn good unit. Having, uh, well, being, having Balder Sword, starting with a Slim Sword. Uh, inheriting all of Sigurd's gold, and hit the hill, joint, uh, joint level one with six movement, three authority source, so, ben, uh, is his first, uh, he has, uh, pretty good growth, especially in HP, 140, better than the 110 that he had, that he had before, uh, good strength growth, actually good decent magic, which will mean he use, uh, magic swords pretty well, a uh, good skill growth too, and if these growths look familiar, it's cause he's Marth, he, he is Marth again, that's the reason to put his personality as Marth, because he just is Marth. He can also wield the Tear Fing when it's eventually given. Give me one. But yeah. Selif is a pretty good unit, and he can also promote later in the game and get even stronger. Gain the promotion bonuses that Sigurd ha had. Though he also has a unique mechanic when he's promoted, which is the dismount mechanic. Because I think it, it actually, he, they thought that it would appe appeal to people who thought he was cute. As a, as, a, as a junior lord, despite it being the glitchiest thing in existence, there is chances of him falling out of the map. Uh, or fo uh, So, uh, don't use it. Now, next up, because of our, uh, well, to put it frank, inbreeding, uh, we have, oh yeah, by the way, he inherited uh, the silver sword of, uh, of, uh, give me a moment. He inherited Sigurd's Silver Sword, the a Slim Sword you start off, and the Barrier and Paragon Band. That's what reason I want to keep it on, on self, so he can have the par so he can have Paragon. That's what Sigurd had the entire game. And again, like I said, what's better? What's also better than one God of Destruction? Two, her children, the God of Death and the God of, of Pestilence, Larsian Ulster, or as he's called in the Wiki, Skahash. Or so I'll just call him Ulster because it's easier to do. He, he inherits all of Bay of, uh, of Holland's stuff, getting his Wind Sword, Iron Blade, Steel Sword, Shield Ring, and Return Ban, along with some monstrous stats, along with, uh, well, an A rank in a, uh, a Sargent Swords, because because of the uh, inbreeding, they both, both of their children have major Odo blood, giving them ridiculous stats, and also Pursuit, Nihil, and here's the overpower part, Astra and Luna, and just letting you know, they stack. So... Yeah. Now let's go over Ulster's actual growths. Ul Ulster, Astra's Wake, or uh, da or Dalvin, it, depending on if you actually married off Ira. Because yes, there is actually a uh, mechanic depending if you married off people or not. But anyways, he is uh well yeah he heard to the gold from uh from his father. He, has, he joins chapter six, has a, is a one six movement as uh, Zazachian is hot headed and his parents are Ira Kukul Kuh and Kukulin. Now here's the overpowered thing. Oh my god, those growths. 155 HP, 145, uh, not 145, 45 strength, 125 skill, 45 speed, 30 luck, 40 defense. Yeah, um, Skahas slash Ulster is a monster unit. We, uh, now, a lot of times people recommend you have Lex in Iron Mary, but this is also a pretty good pairing, being the second best. And I can see, I wouldn't mainly get it for the major Odo blood, but... Oh my lord! <laughs> That's so good! But yeah. Now you're probably wondering, who's Dalvin? Well, every character in this game, you know, not every character can marry. Oh well. It is very likely, or unlikely, depending on, uh, because of the little mechanics in this game being interesting. It's very unlikely that every character, or, a very, or uh, that every character will marry. There's a very slim chance, or actually, it, that will, won't marry. There's a very slim chance they won't marry. So, who replaces them? Or, because you can't, they're not just going to have an empty slot, you know. Because then, what if you have no one married? You're just going to have, you're just going to have, what, two, uh, four units? No. Uh, so, they actually have replacement units. Which are weaker and don't have holy blood, but are their own, well, are a little bit more interesting as characters to make up for it, from what I've seen online. Uh, but yeah. So that's Dalvin. Dalvin is his replacement. If you see the ore, it's because it's a replacement. They have way worse growths, usually barely even going over 50. So, next on the list is the god of pestilence, Ira, who inherit who's basically uh, or, or Larcy, or just basically better Ira, who has a steel blade, iron sword, and her brave sword, along with the knight's ring. 
uh, and also has uh, Pursuit in the Hill, Astra, and Luna. So yeah, we got Irish children. So, Larcy the Scion of Astra is, or, uh, Credine, or Credene, Credene, which is a, is not, it has weaker uh, growths and skill and HP, but I do notice you're having a higher growth in speed and luck, and slut, and, but, uh, well again, mainly taking over after her mother compared to, uh, uh, Holm, which takes over more after her father, but, uh, uh, no, uh, Ulster, which takes over after his father. But anyways, she's courageous and has the, basically is a second god of destruction, or third god of destruction along with the other two. So, use them. They are just some of the best units in the entire game. You want to use both of them. But last on this list is the, is the daughter of Ideen, Lana. Yep, Lana's back. Or is it, or is it Lana? Yeah, Lana. Because, oh, you... You didn't inherit the staff I wanted you to inherit. Oh, wait, maybe you did. Maybe it's the broken staff. You didn't inherit the... Okay. Okay, you didn't inherit the one staff, the fortified staff that I gave to you, so we don't inherit. But yeah, Minor Ulier Blood uh, starts with Pursuit and a Cost, uh, just in case. Uh, maybe dangerous if you get hit, but... Uh, but can... But it is pretty uh, good. Beast being the son, the daughter of uh, Ideen and Medir. So, let's go over her, her growth real quick. She has 100% HP growth, and, and uh, yeah. And, uh, starts with a heal staff, and inherits the rest of their stuff from Ideen, but... Uh, she, again, has pretty good luck, and, uh, and, and magic and strength. So, along with speed and HP, so she'll, she'll dodge. She'll be a dodge tank later in the game. She is also the cannon pairing for Seleth. So, eh, yeah. Not much I can really say, she's a pretty good healer. I mean, yeah. Again, most of the units in this game are pretty broke. Uh, child units are pretty broken. I'm just gonna say that they're some of the best units in this game. But without further ado, let's move forward. Now, a lot of these enemies, they are still, they're just regular. They're the same as other like fire emblems. They're just game, uh, some game shire units. Uh, but there is some talks we can do. Some bad talks. So first up first is uh, Larcy. Or actually, no, it's uh, Ulster and Larcy. You holding up okay so far, Larcy? Yeah, I'm getting by fine. Just be careful out there, okay? You usually bra you're usually brazen antics, so we'll only get in, tr in trouble now. I know, I know, I know. What do you think, I'm still a child? What, do you think I'm still a child? <laughs> Man, that iron will of yours. Guess you're just like Mom was. If that's what Princess Shannon told us, it's true. Yeah, Ayra. Yeah, Ayra. I can't remember a thing about her. I can't remember a thing about her. You? No, of course not. Her twins, remember? If you were too young to remember, then so was I. We weren't even two years old back then. It was Oife who took a sit with him when he fled back to Lysoch to sell it. Sell it. We waited and waited, but Mom never followed. I guess she didn't make it out of the Battle of Belhalla alive. Ulster, you swore you'd never say that awful, awful things like that. Mom is alive! Alive! I'm sure of it! Don't you dare say otherwise again! Uh, I'm sorry, Larcy. You're right, I'm sorry. And for that, we get a luck. Ding. Uh, now... I am gonna say this. They're dead. Uh, they are very, very dead. Uh, they died al fighting alongside, uh... Al fighting along Sigurd in the Battle of Valhalla. Actually fighting off some of the forces with them during the, uh... During the execution. Uh, before being killed. Uh, we know this thanks to Heroes, where it very- where it basically states that, so... So, so we want to investigate some of these units, because one of them is important, so... I know that. Gain Shire unit, gain Shire unit, gain Shire unit. Uh... Hmm. Where are you? Oh no, you show up in turn 3, don't you? Right, it's a bunch of, uh, yeah, low one force. Sorry if I'm a little out of it right now. I'm trying my best. There's also a bunch of so far units over here, and Jo- and jo and Izot units. A lot guarded by Johan. And Jo- and Johali Avir, which, uh, 
is they're both recruitable, but you can only recruit one. They're basically the village ordeal in this game. Some ruffians. Herald, which has a return ban, and a steel axe. And also the Pavis, because he's a general. One of the benefits of this, of this game is that because our units are a little bit stronger. Also, I want to see, how does the how does this castle work? Okay, it's an enterable castle. Darn it. I'll grind the arena after I defeat uh, some of these opponents. So, there you here. And uh, Lana can move forward. Now, Lana can recruit someone here, I think. So, from this chapter, so... Not, I don't know. <laughs> so, enter. Attacking <laughs> Salif, that's fine. I need to see the self animations, which is just Mars animations from, uh, from, uh, th from three. Literally the exact same animation. Revolve phase. They're not gonna move because, uh, well, yeah, they're not gonna move. And next up on our turn is, well, another turn. Uh, Larcy, uh, let's give it to you. Uh, have you attack with the steel sword. Your father's uh, overpowered, crit boosted steel sword. Ah! One god of destruction hit leveled up. Well, healed. So, yeah. Uh, that's a good kill in 25. Uh, but I still will be using that steel sword for a while, because it basically will be his main weapon for most of the game. Uh, Ira. Oh, no. It's Larcy. Larcy, not Ira. <laughs> Ira. Uh. Ira's daughter, Larcy, who uh, actually <laughs> does the same thing as her mother. Activates Astro when it's not needed. <laughs> Every time. Alright, you move here. Uh, and Lana, you move here. You get a void anyway, so. Alright, you can attack Larcy, it's fine. She'll be fine. Alright. Anyways, the Gainshire is gonna attack Lana, because of course she is. He, well, they are. And you're gonna attack Larcy, because you can die, because Larcy. That's why she's where you played. And more units are gonna start showing up. But, because that's gonna be the end of their turn, and it's now our turn. Turn three! Three units arrive! We're too late! The battlefield is or battle's already begun. I guess the news of Tyranog, Selif, and the old bat must have leaked while we were off scouting. I hope everyone's all right. Most of them will be fine, Lester. But what about your sister? What if Lana's gone and gotten herself mixed up in the fighting? She can't defend herself at all. She can't defend herself at all if she's out in the open like this. Sir, we should hurry back. The sooner back we get to Lord Sell's side, the better. Indeed. Come, Dermont. Lester. The battlefield awaits us. Yes. Fun fact. Guess who that is? But Oifei! Dermont and Lester. Lester is the brother. Well, is the brother of uh, of Alana. Uh, Dermont is the son of Be of uh, Beowulf and Lachesis, and Lachesis, with all of his swords, every single one. <laughs> and uh, and Oife, who comes with an armor slayer and a javelin, actually being a really good unit. I'm gonna say that. Well, let's first go off, start off with Dermont, because yes. This, there's a lot of recruitable characters in this edition, and you'll be getting a lot of them. Like, like so, a lot of bios this episode. Dar, um, or Dermud or Dermot, or which is replaced by Tristan, is a uh, is a free knight, same class as Beowulf was, which basically is a uh, a sword uh, sword cavalier. Uh, they build swords. They have an iron sword that's inherited, and I forgot to delete the not tear thing. Uh, oops. Uh, they inherit they inherit uh, all the weapons. That was an accident. Sorry. Uh, they get a cost, charm, and pursuit, meaning that they actually have a charm skill, which is pretty good, along with the, uh, the ability to double and restart the, uh, the turn. But they also tr they also have three, uh, well, this is like, uh, have an honorable personality. Their, their dad is most certainly canonically Beowulf. There is no exception to this rule. It is just Beowulf. They're, even in, uh, 
like because he, he's a character. Uh, Dermot is a character in the Thrakia, and he can use the Beowulf sword, which literally is Beowulf's sword. So he is canonically Beowulf's kid. Anyways, he, his growths are pretty good from the from Laxus's uh, good growth along with Beowulf. He has a high strength and decent growth and everything else along with HP. All along with having minor has little blood. So, yeah. Uh, also, uh, yeah. Without further ado, next up on the list is a... Ba -ba 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 Lester, Lord of Jungbi. Or Demine. Or... or Daemne. Uh, uh, Lester is a bow knight having the items of a deer. Oh, the skill range, which I'm pretty really handy. Uh, he also, he also has pursuit in a cost, same skills as, as his, uh, you know, as his, as his father, but he is Madeir again, but better a bit, just because he has holy blood, getting an extra speed, luck, and also HP. Uh, don't ignore the period there, that was supposed to be a zero. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Uh, his movement is 8, uh, he's, again, he's a responsible personality, taking responsible for his actions, and actually starts as a promoted Arch Knight, not as a, uh, regular, uh, unit, like, uh, not as a unit like, or, but Wiki was wrong, okay, never mind, he's a Bow Knight, the, the Farm Wiki says he's an Arch Knight, that is a lie, do not trust the Wiki, uh, he, I thought that was weird, but anyways, last up on the list is good old Oife, Knight of Chalfi, no longer a squire, but a knight. He has no holy. He has a, he has minor balder blood. But what's really good is that he is. Look at those starting stats. Now, hmm, an older paladin who who has good was an armor slayer and a javelin has good starting stats. Well, his growth must suck. Because he because he falls into the Jagan stereotype pretty well. No, Oife actually has <coughs> good growths, leading to him being regarded as the Oife character type. Which basically is the opposite of a Jagan, a starting a, a promoted unit who actually stays good throughout the game instead of falling off later. He also starts with uh, pursuit and critical, having the ability to double and crit, which is ridiculous. And uh, well, yeah, has nine movement. Uh, now, if you wonder why I put his personality as guiltily devoted, he is so devoted to si to Seleth because he felt a like, well, he felt a kind of abandoned by Sigurd. And, uh, in guilty for leaving him in the battle of, uh, in, uh, the, well, the battle of Valhalla, seeing, uh, after, after he, you know, died there with my, uh, magic nuke. Uh, he felt guilty and has basically devoted himself to sell his entire life, uh, in order to make up for his shortcoming, which isn't his fault. Uh, anyways, without further ado, move our units forward. There's some talks we can do, like, between Celis and, Oy like, Oyfe and Celis, along with, uh, uh, Lester, or Lester, and his sister, Lana. Without further ado, let's, uh, attack you. Oh, your silver sword, of course, because why not? Double. Hopefully you double and actually do damage this time. Okay, let's get the kill to, uh, Gulster. Okay, hop, 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 hop. And poke. And pause. Huh! I should. Uh, no, Ira got a kill already. Uh, our name's not Ira. All right, let's lure these guys out while we start moving towards this area. Just for a bit. Get some toxin. Anyways, uh. So, without further ado, Lester, talk to your sister. Actually, no, you fight and then talk to your sister. Uh, use the brave bow, or no, use the killer, the, the killer bow. Here, please. No. Are you gonna use a cost? No. Okay then. And now you talk to your sister now. Lana, don't tell me you're fighting too. I am Lester. I simply couldn't bear to leave Lord Selig to fight alone. Why am I not surprised? Look, I know like, I can't get you to leave, but just be careful, okay? I'd break, it'd break Mother's heart if something happened to you out here. I know, actually, there was something Mother told me. Hmm. She told me that we owe the great de the greatest of debts to the people of Isach, and that we can help them in any way. We owe it to them to do all we can. Yeah, I guess she's right. I mean, we wouldn't even be here now if not for the help of the locals. 
So, er, where is Mother, anyway? She's back in Tirnog, Tirnog Abbey, working as it like always. Right, listen, Lana. We've got to give this battle our all, both in Mother's name and in the name of our lost father. Someday, I know, we'll be able to help Mother return to her home, to her home with Jungbi. You're right, Lester. Yes, Idine is still alive! Also, you get one luck for doing that conversation, that's why I wanted to do it. Um, Idine actually managed to somehow escape the Battle of Valhalla, probably with Medeer's help. Probably, uh, using her horse in order to- his horse in order to get her out of the way before, you know, succumbing to his wounds. It's- she's one of the few characters that it's revealed to have lived. Also, by the way, basically every female character lived. Except for Ira. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, equip yourself with your- your iron- uh, steel sword. That's what your father used. Poke him. Poke him in the eyes. Boop. Oh crap. Uh, Oife? I was gonna have you talk, but I'm, I'm hoping that you can pick up this guy. Use your armor slayer. Slay him, Oife! Slay him! Uh, that's just for the sake of our, you know, units' li li uh, livelihood. All the live. Alright. Probably the sand is not. Oh, it's all road, that's why. Not sand. Alright, silver sword. Uh,. So if I need you to, I need you to get some life. Okay. Full steer. Uh, use your actually large steer. Where can you move? Okay, you can attack here. Uh, uh, use the steel sword just to save some brave weapon uses. Level first level up the playthrough. It's probably gonna gain HP, skill, speed, and defense. Defense will take. Well, you're basically gonna be guaranteed to gain HP and skill at least. I mean, it's kind of a given considering your units. Uh, Iron Blade. Okay, that's about the same way you're always doing. Let's use the, east, the Wind Blade. Higher pitch. And hopefully, you want to use freaking Astra or Luna. <laughs> use Luna! Use Luna! It's for. Oh my lord! Alright, without further ado, let's end turn. You're all probably gonna attack Selim, because I know, because I know them. Because Lord Priority. Oh, nope. They're attack Oife. Why are you attacking Oife? Uh, Okay, sell off. Okay, sell off dodge, please, thank you. Okay, and there's first solve level up. HP, speed, luck, defense, res. I'll take it, that's good. Okay, you're attacking Dermont. Nice. He threw himself out of a unit, and you're gonna attack Ulster, which you can attack back. Nice wind sword, you see me. Alright, and the other unit's not gonna move, so we're still good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, you need- okay, someone needs to move to help Lana. Lester, you get the, you get some hits on this guy. Uh, just cause why not? Leave him out. Uh... Dermot. Uh, Larcy, you already got a level. Uh, let's get Ulster level. And level up. HP, skill, strength, speed, defense. Good! Really good! Very good! Uh, alright, and you use it here, get physic. Anyways, <laughs> uh, heal up. Uh, Dermont, you could move out to attack this guy, but I'm also gonna, uh, uh, hmm. You're close to leveling up, we'll move you here so you can get the defensive, and you just move here. Wait, hey, you're, you're a slaughterhouse of a character, so not too worried. Attack Larcy. Okay. Not too bad. No Astro use. Probably need a little skill a bit. Where they could. Alright. Uh, that. No sound effect played there. That was weird. Hmm. I have an idea. <laughs> hmm. An enemy with an armor unit. Hmm. That's low HP and I have an armor slayer. <laughs> Shop. Damn. Almost. Almost. Not enough, though. Sad. Alright, you move there. You keep moving uniform, guys. Forward! Oh, physic. Yeah, oh, you physic him. Sir. Good, Good HP. Okay. Now, we do want to be careful with, with her uh, stuff, because, again, she cannot heal or, you know, buy things unless you specifically go to the villages and do stuff. 
Uh, what character can we get through that? Uh, Demene. Or Dime Me. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't do that. Because, I, I guess I'll use... Okay, I guess I'll use... Well, are we going into that, that castle anyway? Oh, when he sees Izanj. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's take both forks anyway. Oh. Oh. Oh, goody. I mean, you can recruit both of them. Just the fact of that you have to eventually do both forks, so... Okay. Let's wait. Keep moving forward, Seleth. Through the mountains! Also, there are uh, love. There is the love system in the second generation. The only thing it gives is all of, is lover's credit. That's it. So don't worry too much about love. The love system in the second generation, though it can help just for the sake of you know having it. Uh, Selif can't move forward. Rip. Uh, you wait till your turn. Bit Oife, you pick off the more dangerous foe. Uh, Dermot, you get a hit in and move to the forest. You can put yourself with the weapon with the highest hit or damage. I mean, damage probably better than hit because you're old Dermot. Chop. 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 And it's a little for Dermot. And HP, strength, speed. Good levels. This game, when it, when the second generation hits, it basically becomes a, uh, a post-Kaga game with growths. Characters gain growth left and right. Uh, you use your steel, probably steel sword. Oh. Uh, Seleth's good HP and has high avoid, so he's gonna be fine if he just waits here. Uh, Larcy has the movement ring, so she can move to that, that tiled forest after her attack. So use her steel blade on him. Uh, Astra, please? Thank you! Chop, chop. Then you move into this forest. Uh, nope, still wait. Okay, and then you. You shoot some, uh, some arrows with your killer bow. Okay, you have not crit once with a killer bow. Now we move. Uh, and you physic Beowulf. Or Dermot. If I start calling them by their by their father's names, I'm sorry, I'm used to them. So I'll be I'll be probably calling them that for a little bit. Okay, Ulster is gonna get all the kills because he's uh, activating Astra like crazy. Skill, luck. Uh, okay, you're gonna attack Oife. Get the fool. And you're gonna shoot Oife. You're gonna attack Oife for some reason. You attack the person that you literally can't damage. Okay, that guy's attacking that village. We do want to save the villages. You know, for the sake of village saving. But hey, there's no more regular units out here. That's nice. Sands, we're gonna avoid that. Alright. Uh, Seleph, can you, uh... No. Crap. Well... I mean, Oife could get another kill. But... Let's skip the Ira up again. I know their names. Larcy. They have not I picked Luna once. Okay. And Dermot can get the hit. Also, I think canonically, uh, I'm not sure about. Actually, never mind. I'm not sure. I was gonna say that maybe Dermot and uh, Larcy are together, but I'm not sure. Oh, level up for Milana. Speed, magic, and luck. I'll take that one. It's a good level, actually. Okay, she inherited her mom's money with this. Hey, look, nothing. Anyways. Uh. <laughs> okay, you're gonna start burning that village down. I'm gonna start moving our units. Fuck it! Uh, heal staff. Cause... Don't waste the staff. Uh, but yeah, we also want to avoid, make sure Larcy doesn't go down yet. The reason why I say this 
Because whichever one she, she goes near, the other one goes hostile. I don't want that to happen yet, until I'm ready. Alright. Uh... End turn. Kind of odd fighting with such a small unit, you know? Also, I'm gonna give the gold not to you, I think. Sadly, it's just the same as bird. Just moving you guys forward. No, a waste. Well, they still have some kills, though. I am gonna say that. Okay. Start moving across the sand. Okay, more, more burning of villages. And you poke them in the face with your gat with your armor slayer. Okay, move forward. Has Ulster even gotten hit once this chapter? It just occurred to me. Also, you wield exclusively an axe, so you'll be uh, you guys be fine grinding against them. Though, Seleph probably uh, exclusively mostly. Because if I use anyone else, they're going to kill him. And I you. Alright, Seleph, you move in. Uh, use your uh, use the slim sword, actually. Won't do as much damage, but hey, you can at least. Okay, now it's the same dodge rated away. Actually, I think you gain. Do you lose dodge rate. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you gain four. Oh no, not the four dodge rate. Alright. Uh, you attack with the wind sword. Uh, that's a kill. Or almost a kill, 20 HP. Oh no, it's a kill. I thought it was. It was 28. Alright, you move here. You equip yourself. Actually, you kill this guy with an armor slayer. Right, actually, no, I won't cry. Not this time. You move there. Okay, or you're not gonna move. Okay, good. Ulster getting a lot of XP. Uh, Ulster, you get a couple hits in. And now let's get the kill to sell it. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. You heal your your husband, though. Anyways, uh, now I am going to uh, okay, that you're okay anyway, but it's still a level for self. Two HP, one skill, one strength, one magic, one nearly an all up. Self, nice level. Again, self starts off weak, but quickly spirals into uh into strengthhood. All right, I'm gonna give that village to Lana, by the way. Full characters. I know, weird, but still. But then, because she needs the gold. That's, oh, I forgot to talk with Soyfei. Oh, thank the gods, sire. You're safe! Oyfei, glad to see you made it back. What new, what's the news of the rest of the world? The Empire's grip is tightening still further, as if trying to choke life from the people. It's inciting doomed revolts around the, or all across Jugral. So it's as I thought. It isn't, it isn't as if the Empire's tyranny would ever be limited to only Izoch. Oife, is it feasible to assist them? Not as we pre presently stand, sire. We still lack the strength to pro properly challenge the Empire. But what of our present battle? The war for Izoch's kingdom has already begun. Turning back now would be impossible. Hmm. There's certainly no chance of, of returning you to hiding, sire. Now that your whereabouts have been leaked. Starting for the fight now is reckless. We have no choice but to continue. Oife, I'm sorry to let all this happen to behind your back. We had no choice. Even so, I don't think I could have stood letting Izoch suffer under Danon's rule thumb any longer. I trust you understand, Oife. I do, sire. Now, our priorities are lay siege to Danon's capital, Revo, with all due haste. Danon must fall before the Empire can send more him reinforcements. We cannot afford to wait. And we get nothing for that. So, yeah. Oh, I see where the, uh... Okay, never mind, I see where the, where the boss is. So down here. The boss is right here. Dan and with a thief sword, apparently. So he's gonna steal our gold. It's, are you? Are you gonna steal our gold? Hey, he has no range. He has no range weapon. You know what that means? Uh, let's 
uh, wait still so we can move the rest of our units forward. Mainly, I mean you, Lana. Also, physical. Hello, Lana. Defense, speed, I'll take that. Just, just turn limit, because why not? Yeah, no, uh, not effect. Alright, let's have Oife, uh, let's have you weaken him. Uh, use your brave bow or a killer bow? Killer bow will kill, but hey, it'll still help. Pepper. No, calm down! They're nothing more than petty rebels! Petty rebels who have cleared an entire hole through your forces. Oh, costed. Wait, you can kill. How, how could I fall to a few motley soldiers? <laughs> it won't kill. <laughs> Accosted and kills. Alright. Okay, he has the return man. Okay. That's, uh, non tended. Alright. Visit this. King Denon's got three sons. The oldest, Brian, lives at the old family home in Granville. The younger of two, Sir Monhue and Isosh. Donan controls Isosh Castle, while Jova Jolivier controls Sofar Castle. They both kind of have an odd sort, but they've both got an obsession with someone in your army called Larcy. Always squabbling, they are. I don't know, though. Neither of them are all that bad, really. Heck, I bet they want to join your force with you. Problem is, they both hate each other. So one joins you, the other won't. So it's a choice. Now between the two, I am actually going to be going with Joe, uh, Joe Olivier, uh, Joe Halibier, because mainly for the fact of Johan is just Lex, he's just worse Lex. Meanwhile, uh, Joe Halibier, or uh, Joe Halibier, is a unique unit of a unique class that no one else has actually been in, the Axe Fighter. So I'm getting him. That's just as he just has good higher growths, actually. But anyways, without further ado, uh, let's uh, capture the fort and seize and end the turn. No chapter. What part? By the gods! I never seen such ruin. It's like Gen Genshire. Ne Genshire never even existed. It's been a while, hasn't it, Selif? Oh, Luin! Yeah, Luin live. Uh, pardon me, Your Majesty, King Luin. A part. Oh, pardon me, Your Majesty, King Luin of Selice. Just Luin, Selif. Like I've. Like I've always been. So at least it's just another Imperial Conquest now. That's all it's been ever since the mess in Valhalla. And meanwhile, here I am, still living a pathetic, shameful life for all to see. At least my mother faced Elise's demise. And her own. With pride and dignity. And her own with pride and dignity. But me? Nope. I'm just still an idiot, an idiot bard. Don't listen to what Oifei says to me, Sela. Just please, just don't call me a king ever again. I... My apologies, Lewin. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. More importantly, it looks like you finally got th this revolution thing started. There's no place more fitting than Izos to start fighting back against the Empire. Indeed, the courage of Izos's people is matched only by the pain and anger the Empire has inflicted upon them. All we're missing now is a French Shinan and to return and join, and join the fray himself. He ran off to follow some rumor, didn't he? Hmm. Rumor ha has it that his birthright as heir, as heir to the Azashian throne and the Holy Soul of Balmung is being kept in a shrine in the Yi Desert. As I understand it, the entire desert region is ruled by an evil priest. I trust Shannon's might, but I cannot help but worry for her safety. Uh, if anyone can, say, can do it, it'd be Shannon. Actually, Sel, if I have a favor to ask of you. Oh? If it is within my power, I'll gladly help. What is it? Julia, could you, could you come over here? See, I found her years ago in Valhalla when she was just a little girl. Hurt pretty badly. Since then, I've been looking after her. In a hidden little corner of Selyse. At least, until we had to get, get out a while back as the Empire set out not tightening his grip. Thing is, I've got things I've, I really need to do. Over, uh, I've got things that need doing over in Leonster. At this point, she's just slowing me down. I hate to impose it on you, Seth, but I don't have much of a choice. Could I just leave her within your group with, uh, with your group for a while? I still don't know what happened to her, but it must have been pretty awful. Poor thing. Back when I first found her, she couldn't remember a thing about what happened. Looks like she still can't. I see. Very well. You can trust me with her, Lewin. However, 
I must ask that you return her for her as soon as possible. She likely won't feel too comfortable in an army of strangers. Deal. <laughs> I'll probably be back here by the time you finish reading Izoch. Good luck, Seleph. May the gods be with you as well, Lewin. And Lewin let leaves. And we get Julia. Listen, Julia, I know it'll be hard for you without Lewin here, but I promise you'll be alright. Until Lewin returns, I swear I'll let no harm come to you. I know I've still much to learn, but in and yet I'm not all that strong. As if I'm all that strong, but one day, someday, I know I'll be strong enough to protect us to protect us all. Someday I'll have the strength to defend all the world's people from the uh, from the Empire's wrath. Someday I'll be strong, as my father once was. Seleph. And we get well, well Gameshire. Uh seized. And a new character, Julia! With no items. Julia is a pretty weird character, having a bee in a, a bee and uh well, a bean stabs and a star rank in light magic. She also has Pursuit, Adept, and Nihil. Huh, those are interesting skills. Pursuit and Adept especially. But Nihil, we reckon, uh, Seleph also has that skill. And, huh, Major Naga of Blood and, mi and Minor Vala Blood? Hmm, I wonder who you are. Anyways, uh, Yulia is a pretty good character, having a 100% magic growth and a 90% uh, HP growth. Uh, she will be pretty darn good, honestly. Uh, though she does like Deirdre, I think, leave after a bit? Also, her parents are totally unknown. Totally not anyone we've met before. Anyways, uh, she has five movement and is level one. Uh, she, her holy weapon is the Book of Naga, which you can't get until the final chapter, so don't worry about it. So, yeah. Though, I am going to say this, uh, she will leave, like, around the final chapter, so, yeah. I'm not sure when she leaves, I just know that she does. But, anyways, without further ado, that's gonna be it for this part. Next one, let's play Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. We'll be heading to what, either Izoch or Sofara. Probably Izoch. And, so, see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.